We're ready to go. It is the Friday before the long weekend and we pretty much feels like spent the whole day Teddy and I packing up and getting ready to leave. Travis got home a couple hours ago and did all the things he needed to do. And we are getting close to finally being on our way to the Saskatchewan Landing Provincial Park. So come along with us and check out another one of Saskatchewan's provincial parks. As I mentioned, we left a lot later than we would have hoped to, as per our usual style. Uh, Travis and Teddy are both probably equally hungry and grumpy, so we stopped near Kyle at the Hilltop restaurant, which is like a really good little stop. It actually used to be a restaurant that you went in, and ever since COVID, it's just been like a walk-up window, but really, really good ice cream treats. The food's good too, so it is a nice little stop. Just wasn't really our plan. It's already, I think, after 6.30 and it's not the best weather as you can see, but we'll have a little stop, grab a little bit of food and then be back on the road. Landing. We have always camped here at Riverside and we just love it down here. It's pretty quiet and it's a little bit further away from the store and stuff but we are literally Riverside which we really like and some years we've been here and there's like a little bit of sand here and the river has been way higher than it is this year so it's like we have this like little private beach almost and it's really nice quite a bit of a walk this year which we've definitely seen before as well in the years that we've been coming so it's kind of a bummer that the water is so low but it's still so nice like we can sit in our campsites and look out and actually see the water which is just really beautiful good morning i really didn't feel much after we got here last night but we got set up and had some visit with our friends that we're camping with and got Teddy into bed and that was about it. We had a nice little campfire last night. So just feeling all the great summer vibes. Today is July 1st, so Saturday of the long weekend, Canada Day, and Trav actually is gone golfing. He had like 8.20 tea time at the golf course here this morning with a friend. So Teddy and I are just having breakfast in the camper and yeah, I see all the other little ones are out and about. So we're gonna head outside right away and see what's up for the morning. Okay, finished up a little nap in the camper this afternoon. Everyone is at the beach and we're ready to head over. So here there are beaches that you have to drive across the highway to, to the other side of the park. So we'll show you what that looks like. So the first day we came to the beach, I actually didn't take any video uh, because I thought we would have many other opportunities for videos of the beach and we did not because the weather just wasn't in favor of that. So we came down to Cottonwood Beach, which is the one across Highway 4, and there is not a soul here. There is another uh, parking lot up a bit. I don't know if there's anybody here, but we've never been here when it's completely empty. So we'll just show you around. So at this first 
uh, parking lot and beach access there are flush toilets and there's a water spigot and this side has the trees that you can maybe catch some shade on for part of the day when you're on the beach and there's another playground up here just over there and on the other side there's stairs down to the water and there's a building with washrooms and change rooms in it So here we go, the other little side of the beach, and there's not a single person. In probably the last five years, we've been here when the water has literally been all the way up to the wall. You came down the stairs right to the water. We've had years that have looked like this, but as you can see, it's very low right now. Gonna drive through the main campground here. There's bear paw A and bear paw B, and they are huge campgrounds with tons of sights. territory for us so it's not the loveliest day ever as you can probably hear from the wind but we just came actually a little ways past the Riverside and Nighthawk campgrounds and there's a few little bays over here so we got a crew down at the beach already and we're just walking in to check it out Another windy old day here at the landing. We came down to the marina and the mini golf area and we're gonna do a little round of mini golf. crossed over the Saskatchewan Landing Bridge, so we're now on the south side of the river. We are here at the Goodwin House Interpretive Center for Sask Landing Park. There's washrooms here in the parking lot, and it's the trailhead to the equestrian campground that uh, is a part of the park. And there's trailheads here, and we're gonna do just a little hike that's actually across the highway but I just wanted to take a look at the Interpretive Center first before we head over there. So the Goodwin House Interpretive Center is closed today. It's open Wednesdays to Sundays from 12 till four. And it said it was built in about 1900. Rings, Ruts, and Revenants Interpretive Trail. Here we go. So there are cattle at large. So there's this little gate to try and get in. This is a squeeze. Here we go. So our first little sight here are actually these little grave markings of a man and his father who came here in the 18 and 1900s, which is really wild. I had no idea that people were buried here. So Augustus and John Huntley. So this is actually the Huntley's homestead where they came and homesteaded. So you can see there's like a little rock circle over there where they had a garden and they had a five room house which uh, you can see the cellar, the hole was here for the cellar. And then it says there's holes over here for the ice house and the privy. 
you look at the edge of the hill in front of us, there's a coyote just sitting there. We already saw one towards the water, but that one is literally just sitting there watching us in the world. Somebody was falling asleep. Here we go. Actually, see here the round ring of rocks is a former teepee ring standing inside the teepee ring now and you can see the little ring where the fire would have been which is just very cool because it's obviously been here for a very long time the trailhead here. I've got 2.5 kilometers on my watch and it took us about an hour with our little with our little one here. So I actually had no idea that it was more than just a hike. Like I didn't know there was all the history and the interpretive areas of learning. So I think it was really cool. I think we had the perfect day for it. It's really cool. Just a little bit of a breeze but like great day to be out in the prairies and yeah this was our first hiking experience at the landing and I would definitely recommend checking it out if you've got time. We're just in the sagebrush campground area at this kiosk and they actually have this nice little uh, summary of all of the different hikes. So there's the Prairie Vista Trail. This is the Ridges and Ravines Trail. Oh, the Beaver Flat 50, the big race they have here in September. So there's all the different courses and distances. And then the Rings and Ruts, which is the one we did this morning. Okay, and that is our time here at the Saskatchewan Landing Provincial Park. So I hope you found this video to be helpful if you're thinking of um, coming and checking out the park. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. We are trying to grow our little channel here and we would love to have you. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time.